People living in Fountain Square are raising concerns tonight about rental properties. Several neighbors say they've been putting up with a wide range of nuisances and some are even putting their safety on the line. Fox 59's Michael Van Skoik shows us the changes they want to see when it comes to local rentals like Airbnb or Verbo. Fountain Square has plenty of short-term rentals to choose from. Many neighbors say most have no issues, but some are causing quite the headache. Sometimes the, the noise is really bad. A three-bedroom family home often transforms into a weekend playhouse filled with huge crowds. And suddenly your entire street's blocked up with cars everywhere. There are people spilling out in the streets. Some say these parties aren't only bothersome, but sometimes damaging. My wife's car was damaged because of one of their guests uh, fell and damaged the car because he was drunk. While most of the complaints involve too much noise or music or too many people in the street, perhaps even more concerning, some of these gatherings have turned violent. Oftentimes things escalate. Uh, we've had incidents of uh, property theft, uh, even gun violence and uh, murder in some cases. Police say many of these large gatherings have involved teenagers and underage drinking. Neighbors like Dakota Palicki now want to see some change. What people want is to be able to live in a community where they know their neighbors uh, and where they're not going to be concerned about uh, gun violence uh, right next door to them. IMPD says it's trying to crack down on these gatherings, but police say renters also need to take a stance. You know who's renting your home or, or your, your facility for that matter, uh, making sure that there's no illegal activity going on. And if you do learn about the illegal activity, activity, we want you to reach out to us. Neighbors like Palicki have a few ideas, like an ordinance requiring short-term rentals to register with the city. So in the event that there is a situation uh, that IMPD needs to get a hold of the property owner, they actually know who to contact, and it's not a shell company or someone based out of state. Those neighbors have already been in talks with city leaders. They're also actively trying to collect data about rentals citywide. In Fountain Square, Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News. IMPD says anyone with concerns about these issues can reach out to its nuisance abatement detectives and we'll have that information on our website as well as a link to report issues to the coalition to address short-term rentals.